13 on your side sports sponsored by Van Dyke Mortgage. After every win, it is tempting to think 13th ranked Michigan State has figured out all of its problems, but I think now it's obvious they are not even close. Bottom line is the Spartans are inconsistent and Rutgers was able to take advantage out in New Jersey. And uh, well, yeah, that should pretty much tell you all you need to know about MSU's start. However, little by little, they clawed back. Gabe Brown hitting a three just before the break. He scored a game high 20. Michigan State was down only two. Second half, though, it all fell apart. Rutgers opening things up on a 9-2 run. Caleb McConnell, one of five Scarlet Knights to finish in double figures. And speaking of being finished, that's what MSU was. Ron Harper Jr., that's a tough layup. Give him 17. Give MSU its fifth loss this season as they fall to 17-5. and 84-63 is your final. Well, just like getting a good job, if you want to get into the NCAA tournament as an at-large bid, you have to have a good resume. Right now, though, that's a big issue for Michigan. Each time the Wolverines have played a top 25 team this season, they've come up short. U of M 0 for 2 going into its game at fourth rank Purdue. First half, Michigan fell behind early, but Hunter Dickinson there to pick up the slack. How about a three from the big man? It's had a career high with 28. Michigan trailed by six after one. Second half, U of M came out looking good. Eli Brooks to the rack. Part of a 7-2 run. Wolverines down only one. But Michigan actually never led in this game, and you're not going to win if that happens. This right here is some awful defense. Jaden Ivey getting the jam with ease. He scored 23. Wolverines fall 82-76. Another opportunity lost, but Juwan Howard says he is proud of his team's effort. Teams want to make shots. You like to hear that. Michigan, though, falling to 11 and 9 overall with a 5 and 5 conference record. The Wolverines are at Penn State on Tuesday. In Division II, since their first meeting this season, Ferris State and GVSU have gone in opposite directions. While the ninth ranked Bulldogs keep winning, the Lakers have struggled. After starting the year 9 and 2, they've gone 5 and 4 since. FSU looking to go two for two on their rivals and add to the Lakers' misery. Early on in Big Rapids, it was Grand Valley coming out hot. Jake Van Tubergen from outside, he scored 14, one of four Lakers to finish in double figures. But it would not be enough later. Ben Davidson, oh, score that and won. He had 12 down the stretch. Ferris would hold on, winning 83-80. The Bulldogs have now won nine in a row. Meanwhile, we also had the Bulldogs and Lakers facing off in women's basketball, but in this instance, it was GVSU who came out on top by the count of 75-68. 14 straight wins now for Grand Valley State. They haven't lost a game since December 2nd. Finally, all eyes were on the Griffins. I said all eyes were on the Griffins, who were home from Ontario. Thank you. Grand Rapids fell behind 1-0 in the first, but man, did they come back strong. How about three goals in less than two minutes? Jonathan Berggren got it started on the power play. Then Luke Witkowski and Jared McIsaac each got one. Griffins would go on to win 5-3. They're able to snap a seven-game losing streak. And that's sports. Michael Barron's coming back with your final forecast next.